Hello friends, this is Miss Catherine representing Central Ohio Boys and Girls Club and also the Rise Club. I am here at Google. Um, I was coming down the road and I realized our Google uh, site is built and we're going to talk about some of the things that Google has to offer us and what are the qualifications we need. You know, you have a lot ahead of you if you're thinking about your career. Let's see what Google has to offer. And let's take a look around. So that's part of the building. That's the gate where you enter. Over there, there's a lot of building and construction going on. And here's the address. Google 1101 Beach Road Southwest. Hello friends, so we see that Google has put Ohio on the map. If you look at the first O for in Google, there is the state of Ohio and it is in New Albany and there is the address that we are at today. So let's look farther into what Google is doing. The brains of the internet, the engine of the internet. It is a giant building with a lot of power, a lot of cooling, and a lot of computers. It's row upon row upon row of machines, all working together to provide the services that make Google function. I love building and operating data centers. I'm Joe Cava, Vice President of Data Centers at Google. I'm responsible for managing the teams globally that design, build, and operate Google's data centers. We're also responsible for the environmental health and safety, sustainability, and carbon offsets for our data centers. This data center here in, in South Carolina is one node in a larger network of data centers all over the world. Of all the employees at Google, a very, very small percentage of those employees are authorized to even enter a data center campus. The men and women that run these data centers and keep them up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they are incredibly passionate about what they're doing. In layman's terms, what do I do here? I typically refer to myself as the herder of cats. And I'm an engineer, hardware, site operator. We keep the lights on and we enjoy doing it and they work very hard. So we like to provide them a fun environment where they can also play hard as well. We just went past the three million man hour mark for zero lost time instance. Three million man hours is a really long time and with the number of people that we have on site, that is an amazing accomplishment. I think the Google data centers really can offer a level of security that almost no other company can match. We have a information security team that is truly second to none. You, you have the expression, they wrote the book on that. Well, there are many of our information security team members that have really written the books on best practices in information security. Protecting the security and the privacy of our users' information is our foremost design criteria. We use various layers of higher level security the closer into the center of the campus you get. So just to enter this campus, my badge had to be on a pre-authorized access list. Then to come into the building, that was another level of security. To get into the secure corridor, which leads to the data center, that's a higher level of security. And the data center and the networking rooms are the highest level of security. And the technologies we use are different. Like for instance, in our highest level areas, we even use underfloor intrusion detection via laser beams. So I'm going to demonstrate going into the secure corridor now. One, I have to be on the authorized list with my badge. And then two, I use a biometric iris scanner to verify that it truly is me. 